Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to review the new Call of Duty Mobile. So it's a first person shooter and you also for the Battle Royale you have your third person but you know it's, it's an amazing game and it's something new that Call of Duty has ever done. That's a first person shooter on a phone. Um, something to know is that this is the beta version so the full version or the, the final version has not been released so they're using this to test you know see how the users like you know what they don't like and hopefully they can improve on um, based on users feedback um, so I will you know this video is just going to be basic review going through the battle pass you know what they offer the clans the guns and stores and the stores and then the next video I'm going to have is basically going to have a quick gameplay of the um, on, on multiplayer so you know uh, let's start from the beginning um, on the main screen you know we have the battle royale over here we have the Oh, it's going through all the um yeah i haven't played better way out yet because i put our garden and i'm a couple of friends were playing and they said it's uh, to be laggy right now because once again better way out to be game mode so loading everything you know it's probably not ready yet um multiplayer is the one i normally play out anyway so in your multiplayer you got your matches you got your rank match or you can have your private match as well um you know, talking about the loading screen more, um, you know, on the top right shows us, you know, your battery, your Wi-Fi thing, and also, um, so these are your COD points, there's CP, and next is um, CP on your left, you have your credits. And both of these um, points you can use them to purchase stuff from the store. So currently, um, um, by the way, if you download the beta version right now, um, you do get 5,000 free um, COD points, and you can use that to buy the battle pass, which I'll talk about as well in a bit. So then you have your settings, you know, add friends, messages, and so on. So if I'm level nine, uh, my KD is around 8.86, and I just I was testing it out, so it's not all that good yet. Yeah, hopefully, I can improve on that. Um, let's talk about the season one battle pass. So you know, just like Fortnite, you got your free tees and you got your premium tees. So you know, so far I just bought the. Um, the premium plus um, battle pass which I'm going to talk about as well so so if I'm at T26 yeah there's something different about these battle passes that it doesn't stop at um, 100 this goes on for a while so you can earn so much of your code points back for the um, battle uh, for, for buying the battle pass Something to know is that the battle pass costs 800 for just the battle pass, um, premium, basically premium one. And if you want to get the premium plus where you get, you know, more accessories and more um, unlocks, it's uh, 2,000 COD points. But uh, it's worth it though, because you, you, you got, you got um, free 5,000 anyway, might as well use it. So a couple of skins that are not in the um, normal um, battle pass, you get those in the premium plus. Uh, so a couple of good skins you got here, you know, you unlock your knife, seeing it's, it's a pretty good thing, I think, ID, or concept for COD. Um, also, you know, as I said, earning COD points is not only from the battle pass, you can do the battle pass challenges. So the first one which I clicked on is basically your daily and weekly challenges. So even if you're on the free tier, you get to do some of these challenges, but buying the battle pass lets you do other challenges and earn more COD points. Next to um, the weekly, you got your general challenges, so you can do this at any time. And usually, these ones take longer, and you earn more code points. Like I said, if you did all this, um, you get a lot of your code points back. So it's win-win at the end of the day. Um, so you can have a look at your all. You can have a look at your just your multiplayer um, challenges, and you can look at your just your battle royale. So you got both battle royale and multiplayer challenges. So you can just do both and get more code points as you want. So that's that's the battle pass. You know, it goes for fifty. Um, is it fifty three days right now? It's pre seasonal. It's in testing phase. So you know, go use it. Unlock all your quad points. Unlock what you want. You know, before the final version comes out. So there's the new. Um, so basically, you earn rewards and all that each time you log in. There's so much rewards to unlock I already claimed that I get to unlock the shotgun tomorrow you get um, credit points the next day so it's pretty good um, uh, basically a reward you get it's right now even in the pre um, in the beta version 
Uh, I want to talk about quickly before I go to the storm and talk about this three on the bottom, the rank, clan, and loadout. So in the rank, basically, it's just um, looking at the leaderboard for the ranked uh, games. So a couple of good players out here. Now I'll try it the ranked version later as well. Um, but the, you know, the next next video, the gameplay is going to be just normal multiplayer. We also have a clan. So you can you know you can have up to 20 members in your clan. You can invite friends. You know, see who joined the clan, who didn't. You can create clans and so on. Also, you have your loadout. So your loadout is basically, um, initially by the way when you download the game you can, you only have one class, you have to unlock, um, you have to unlock, um, you have to you are basically increase in levels to unlock, um, to use multiple classes for different, um, you may basically use more classes. So in the one class you know I got my AKS 7.4.2 with uh, the maple leaves camo which cost around 800 quad points. You know, basically you can, you have your battle royale as well to change it, you can customise your, basically um, when you win a game, uh, you, you can dance and stuff. It's like Fortnite, you have your weapon XP card, so you can use this weapon XP card to basically increase your uh, experience points for your weapons. So if you use them during the loadout, basically increases the weapon experience uh, points for your, for your, um, for your gun, so you can unlock uh, more things faster. Um, yeah, and you have your attachment so on and your knife as well. So you, you know, you gotta unlock your pistols, I th it takes a while. So you can unlock that as well. So if I unlock this two, I know it looks pretty neat. I think I might use the... Uh, I might use this. And yeah, that's basically the thing. Also, you have your operator skills, so you unlock the purifier, which is just a flamethrower. Obviously, there's more things to unlock, the tempest, death machine, transform shield. And also, you have to unlock your lethals as well. So I think after you reach a certain level, I think level 3 or 4, I'm not sure, but you unlock your lethals as well. So you can start using your lethals. And then um, your perks as well, so you can unlock the first perk section, so the red colours. So far, I've unlocked fast recover. Uh, that's about it. I'm only level 9, so yeah, obviously, as I increase in levels, you unlock more. So, if you reach level 11, uh, 16, and 13, you unlock the other stuff. Um, yeah, this unlock at level 11, I said. So, you, you can unlock a second class at level 10. So, probably my next level, I can have now another loadout. And then, level 52, 75, 105. So, yeah, a lot of work to do. So, that's the loadout. Um, <clears throat> you know, not, not much. It's not too confusing, the, you know, the interface is pretty neat so far. But there are a couple of things I'll talk about, um, you know, which they can improve on. So looking at the store, basically you can buy skins for your guns. So, you know, a couple of skins, different rarity, obviously. Uh, you know, you got all your different guns, you know, your assault rifles, this, your submachines, your snipers, your shotguns and your uh, LMGs. So, you know, you got your different guns. I think you can buy your guns as well, or the skins, so these were the skins for them. I think these were the skins. Yeah, lemon drop in here. Um, you got your sprays as well, and you have, um, once again, you have your weapon XP, so you can have 50, 100 and 500 XP, all with different quad points, and basically you can increase the um, weapon experience points, so you can unlock attachments faster, unlock stuff for your guns faster. And you also have, um, you can use your credit points, so this, this basically, um, there's only two weapons that um, you can use your credit points, so credit points are harder to get, they're more rare, and these skins, I think they're more rare as well, they look pretty good as well. The ASM0 and the H4, I, I don't think you can get these guns from the normal one, I think you can, wait, yeah you can, so but the skins are rare, so yeah, the store has a it's pretty good um, choice of skins and stuff so something to you know test out pick skins and all that so i already chose one for my um i'll go back to my an and aks i chose the maple leaves i think yeah i like it it's not too bad yeah it's pretty neat um so the things you know this game can improve on for the final version is a couple of things i want to show was uh, the firstly this the sensitivity um where is the sensitivity? It's like, you know, it's sort of just, you know, they should have the like, X and Y in the acceleration. Um, in, but instead, you know, they got so much, you know, your, your view sensitivity, firing sensitivity, gyroscope sensitivity, turn acceleration, there's like so much going on. But, you know, it would be better if they can reduce this just to X and Y. 
and yeah, we just this to like reduce this to like x and y or something so it's just easier to work with and see you know what you want to change and just pick something that you know you're more comfortable with but you know there's so much going on so you don't know what, what you want to fix what you don't want to fix so i'm just going to keep it at mid for now you can change it for you know pick how you want to drive vehicles for the battle royale mode you can have your team phrases so your system things your graphic quality frame rate Make it, you know, turn off your anti-aliasing and stuff like that. So, yeah, <clears throat> but once again, you know, for your better, uh, better royale graphics, you can have as well. Controls, um, I put on customize. I think simple mode, that should get rid of because, like, it doesn't, you know, allow us to differentiate the gap between the good players and the, the you know, the average player or the someone who started who's a beginner because like with this all they have to do is just focus the cross here on the enemy and that instantly the bullets instantly shoot i think it's just not it just doesn't you know it doesn't increase the skill of a player and i think they should like remove that i think because with customization or having the shooting button people can get used to you know using the shooting button to shoot rather than relying on the cross here being aimed at the enemy and then sometimes you know you know you're moving your thing around and as soon as it your crosses on any will just start firing and I think it just doesn't you know increase someone's skill or <clears throat> someone's skill level in this with this that's thing they won't be able to you know progress as a player so with customization I use the claw techniques I've got my shooting on the left the movement on the bottom left I've got my aim on the top right with the crouch as well and then like on the bottom you got your gun changes your pistols you know your score streaks your HP if you're playing um, the other modes, you got your plant your bombs. So you got your grenades, knives, reload, stuff to switch your grenades. I think you got your shooting thing here as well, and you got one on the top. Um, you got your jumping button. Something I wish they do for the final version is have an option that allows users to double tap to jump. I think that's a really good idea. That standoff has as well, because like there's so many buttons. It's like you know, pressing jump and crouch and doing so much things. It's just harder to do. So I think. Having a double jump option is pretty neat as well, just reduces many buttons on the screen as well. And for the shooting, I think people who use claw, I think I should have like in this box over here that should allow anywhere. So if you tap anywhere, it, should, it fires a bullet. And for the bottom here as well, so like a floating um, movement thing, I think that's pretty neat as well if they have that. So then you have your chat stuff on the top right and your map, and you also have your um, special thing over here operator um, weapon. It's pretty neat so like you know there is a lot going but you get used to it um in the next video you'll see the gameplay see how, how everything works out but you know so far so far it's good small improvements you know easy to do as well but yeah so far it's pretty good so uh, you know great the links in the description go download the game you know get the 5000 reward you know unlock the battle pass play it enjoy it you know leave your comments below if you already played it so, you know what's what's your feedback on the game and hopefully in the next video I'll show a gameplay of the um, gameplay of the multiplayer. So yeah, stay tuned for that.